there long. Perfect. Okay. Sorry about the noise, guys. So I've already primed my eyes, of course, with Max Painterly Paint Pot. And the first shade that I'm going to be taking from this palette is this one here called Reflection. And I guess this is kind of going to be used like as a transition shade. So I'm just going to place it above my crease right here. And this shade is beautiful. It's like the perfect peach shade. I love it. I feel like my camera looks really, really dark, but then I can't tell if that's just because I'm looking out into bright sunshine. So, you know, sometimes when you're out in the sun and you look at your phone and it looks really, really dark. I think maybe I'm having that. We'll see. Obviously, if this footage goes up, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to keep building this up. This is a really nice, super pigmented shade, actually. It's lovely. And the mattes in this palette, I have to say, are super creamy. And I will admit, like, I was super worried about this palette because there were quite a few negative comments or negative feedback about it. I don't know. I love it. You know, there's a couple of um, shades that you do need to work hard with, and I'll be talking about those further in my... Um, other looks, um, or you could just watch my review as well, which should be up before this, but if not, it will definitely be coming very soon. Right, so we've laid down that nice peachy shade, and then we're going to go into this shade here called Dormouse. Not really a matte, it's more like a satin shade with like suspended kind of like shimmery glitzy bits in it, so if you're not too keen on shimmer in the crease, you might want to avoid this step, but I personally don't mind. And this is going to go like right into the crease area here, just to deepen things up a bit. And I take it slightly down on the outer corner as well. To be honest, um, it does look kind of more like a satin on the lid without the shimmer shades. The shimmer's kind of actually just dropped down onto my eyelid. It hasn't necessarily stayed in that eyeshadow. So you probably will be able to get away of using this in the crease if you are a bit worried or against using shimmer in the crease. On the rest of the lid I'm going to be using Looking Glass. Again this is super super pigmented. Feathering it out towards that darker shade. Then we're just going to get our blender brush with that dark shade on. Very gently kind of swipe inwards. And then like a little zigzag motion. I'm barely touching my eye when I do this as well guys. Like, it's just brushing across my lid. Okay, next thing we are going to do is highlight the brow bone. And I'm just going to use looking glass to do that again. I'm going to take a little bit more of that looking glass shade into the inner corners, just to brighten things up a bit there. Next time I'm going to apply some eyeliner, I'm going to do a wing, because I'm predictable like that. What is this? I actually, this is um, a brush that comes with like the Maybelline gel liners and I usually tend to use them for my lips. but. Um, I used one for my eyeliner the other day and I actually really like the way it applied. Um, just with this particular eyeliner. This is the Epic Black um, Mousse Liner from NYX, which I kind of love and hate. I feel like the consistency is really, really dry, um, but I love how um, black it is. Apparently it's going to be quite a thick line today. I learnt not to go as thick with this eye, which sounds weird, but this eye, I think I've spoken about it before, is way droopier. When I open my eyes, with a thick eyeliner on this side, you can kind of still see, whereas if I do it thick on this side, like it pretty much covers that much of my eye, it's crazy. Lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade here called Metamorphosis. Um, now, I thought I had a blue eyeliner, I can't find it anywhere, so um, yeah, I was actually going to do a blue eyeliner in my waterline, 
but obviously that is out the window. And I seem to have gel liner in my nose. I don't know how that's happened. Okay, so I'm just gonna start applying this on my lower lash line. This is a really nice like a uh, periwinkle blue shade. But you definitely need like a flat stiff brush to apply this. That colour is coming through now, but it does take some building up. Okay, so I'm just gonna delicately blend under there so I don't lose all that lovely pigmentation that I just spent ages trying to achieve. And because I can't find a blue eyeliner, I was going to be super predictable and use black eyeliner, but I think I'm going to use this eyeliner from MDK called Covet. Okay, so mascara wise, hmm, I could be really predictable and go for my Maybelline. Then I did receive this Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Bolder Mascara. I'm just going to do a little review on. I can still do a review on it, right? Maybe I'll just use some because I'm probably just going to add lashes anyway. Probably going to use it, keep my views to myself and then do a review on it anyway. So this can just be part of my research. Ooh. Okay, so this is the finished eye look. So unfortunately I don't have any of the Alice Through the Looking Glass lipsticks. So I've just kind of gone with whatever I think kind of suits this look. And I went for this brownishy nude shade just because it has some yellowness in it as well. Which from the swatches of the Alice in Wonderland lipstick, I'm not saying this is a dupe at all. This is kind of, a, I felt like a completely different colour. But I felt like the, um, from the swatches that had like a yellow shift to it. So I just thought this might be kind of appropriate for this look as it is, is inspired by Alice. Oh yeah, this is in um, 700 Skinny Dipping and this is one of the Rimmel Provoca Lips lipsticks. Like always, if you guys wanna know what I use on the rest of my face, I will list everything down in the description bar below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. I'm looking forward to creating more looks with this palette throughout the week and I shall see you in my next video.